as you look into the mirror of God's word and in light of this new information, God can show you how to keep going. So the next one is faithfulness, faithfulness. You know, when I first told uh, Vaughn that I didn't know if I was going to be able to be faithful, it was because I didn't really understand that I needed God's strength or I wasn't going to be doing it in my own strength. It was God's strength. And so I genuinely doubted myself. But when I started trusting God and allowed him for the first time to really get up in my business, he taught me how to be someone I could be trusted. And it's not on my own strength or more effort or striving, but it's on just relying on allowing God to work in my heart so that I could be someone that is trustworthy. Would you consider yourself a trustworthy person? The fruit of faithfulness applies to all areas of our life. And it's just, and it's not just about marriage or something big or relationship, uh, you know, of infidelity or anything like that. Um, it could be as simple as, uh, let me put it this way. Would you say something behind your friend's back that you wouldn't say to their face? This is a hard one. And it's embarrassing to me to admit um, how hard and how much I struggled in this. And it's embarrassing to admit that you're not a faithful person, right? Trust me that um, I hated that about myself and it was difficult to change. But the more intentional you are about what comes out of your mouth about another person, the more intentional you are, the more you will get that little red flag feeling in your, in your mind, right? Before, before the words come. But if you're not mindful of how you're talking about other people, then you won't really want to change how trustworthy you are. And so being aware of these areas and acknowledging them is a huge first step. And boy, I tell you, this is one that I fight for regularly, even today. So we grow in faithfulness as we become more confident of who we are and whose we are. And that sends us back, doesn't it? To the mirror of God's word. And once you learn your value even, and the value of being a person who is trustworthy, it will be worth more than anything that money can buy. And so write in the chat, what are some areas that you feel the quality of faithfulness is important? Are there, uh, what areas would you say is important? Friendships, jobs, what areas? Hmm. Yes, stewardship of money and time. Yes, stewardship of money and time in your own, in your own, your work or your even personal life. It is very, uh, very important. And so, uh, so in, in, in any of the areas that we've listed or talked about or acknowledged where faithfulness is important, um, and you don't have to answer this, but it's just between you and God. How faithful are you in each of these areas? Rate your faithfulness. Rate your faithfulness.